So for example, 3 and 4, we are going to consider second order linear non-homogeneous differential equations where we have the non-homogeneous term, which is g of x, the function on the right hand side, to be a polynomial. So let's try example 3. Afterwards, we try to solve example 4. So for example 3, we are asked to solve the differential equation 6y prime prime plus 4y prime minus 2y equals 3x minus 2. So how do we solve such a differential equation? So first we have the differential equation 6y prime prime plus 4y prime minus 2y equals 3x minus 2. So first we are going to treat this differential equation as a homogeneous differential equation by making the right hand side go to 0. Therefore, therefore we have 6y prime prime plus 4y prime minus 2y equals 0. Now let's try to find the general solution of this homogeneous differential equation. So we are going to derive the auxiliary equation from this differential equation. So we are going to have 6. We are going to replace y prime prime with m square. y prime with m. And then y with 1. So negative 2 times 1 is still negative 2. And that is equal to 0. Now at this point, we have the coefficient of m square to be 6. Coefficient of the constant to be negative 2. So 6 times negative 2, we have negative 12. So we need to get two numbers that when you multiply, you are going to get negative 12. But when you add, you have plus 4. So we start with 1, 12. So negative 1, 12. And then we move on to negative 2, 6. Now if you add these two numbers, you are going to get plus 4. So we can use these two numbers. So we are going to have 6 m square plus 6 m and then minus 2 m minus 2 equals 0 we can factor out so we are going to select 2 and then factor out so for 6 m square plus 6 m we are going to factor out 6 m so that one comes on the outside now 6 m square divided by 6 m we have m plus 6 m divided by 6 m that is 1 here we have negative 2 on the outside. Negative 2 m divided by negative 2 is m. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is plus 1 equals 0. At the end, you should get the same thing inside of the bracket. So m plus 1, m plus 1. So we are good to go. Now we have 6m minus 2. That is one factor. And then m plus 1, also another factor. So 6m minus 2 equals 0, 6m equals 2, we divide through by 6, we have m to be equal to, 2 goes here once, 2 goes here 3 times, so 1 over 3. And then we have m plus 1 equals 0, we have m equals negative 1. So we have, let's say m1 equals 1 over 3, and then let's say we have m2 equals negative 1 so these are the values of m1 and then m2 now since the two values are distinct they are different from each other they are not equal and then they are real values we say that we have two real and distinct roots so the general solution of the homogeneous differential equation which is the complementary function is equal to c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x. So that is we have c1 e to the power 1 over 3, 1 over 3x plus c2 e to the power negative 1 times x, which is negative x. So this is the complementary function. Now let's try to find the particular integral. So with the particular integral, first of all we have g of x, the non-homogeneous term, function on the right hand side to be 3x minus 2. Now this is a polynomial of degree 1. We have x 
will lead to the power 1. Therefore, this is a linear equation or a linear function. And so, we are going to deploy yp to be equal to ax plus b, the general form of a polynomial with degree 1. Now, if yp is equal to ax plus b, then we can say that yp prime, we try to differentiate with respect to x, you differentiate ax with respect to x, and then you have a. Now, because b is a constant, you differentiate a constant, you have 0. And then for yp prime prime, you differentiate this, which is also a constant, and then you have 0. Now, plug in y prime, y prime prime, and then y into the differential equation given, that is the original differential equation given, you have 6 times y prime prime, so 6 times 0, plus 4 times y prime, which is a, minus 2 times y, which is ax plus b equals g of x, which is 3x minus 2. So let's simplify further. This goes to 0. We are left with 4a minus 2ax minus 2b equals 3x minus 2. Now let's group like terms. So we have the constant 4a minus 2b and then minus 2ax equals 3x minus 2. Now we are comparing coefficients of constants and then coefficients of x. So comparing the coefficients of x, so for let's say coefficient of x, we have negative 2a equals 3, we divide through by negative 2, negative 2, and then we have the value of a to be negative 3 over 2, we have a to be negative 3 over 2. Then comparing the coefficient of the constant so for constant for that we have 4a minus 2b equals negative 2 now we have a to be negative 3 over 2 so we have 4 times negative 3 over 2 and then we transpose negative 2 to the left hand side it becomes plus 2 and then negative 2b goes to the right hand side, it becomes 2b. So 2 goes here once, 2 goes here 2 times, we have 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, and then plus 2 equals 2b. So this is negative 4 equals 2b, we divide through by 2, and then we have b to be equal to negative 2. So this is the value of b. Therefore, we have yp to be equal to, that is, ax plus b. So, a is negative 3 over 2. So, negative 3 over 2x plus b, which is negative 2, so minus 2. So, this is yp. Therefore, we have the general solution of the differential equation to be y equals... So, the general equation is given by y equals yc plus yp. So, that is equal to y equals c1 e to the power 1 over 3 x plus c2 e to the power negative x and then plus yp which is negative 3 over 2 x minus 2. So, this is the general solution to the given differential equation. Now let's solve the second example. So for example 4, we are going to solve the differential equation y prime prime plus y equals 2x cube. So we have the differential equation y prime prime plus y equals 2x cube. So we are going to treat this differential equation as a homogeneous differential equation by making the right hand side go to zero. So we have y prime prime plus y equals zero. Deriving the auxiliary equation, we are going to have m square 
plus one equals zero. Now you can transpose one to the right hand side so that you have m square equals negative one. Now you take the square root of both sides and then you have m to be equal to here you have plus or minus. Now square root of negative one is equal to the complex value or the imaginary value i. Therefore you have m to be equal to plus or minus i. Now if this is equal to alpha plus alpha plus or minus i beta then comparing the two equations you can say that alpha is equal to zero and then beta is equal to one because the coefficient of i is one so we have alpha equals zero we have beta equals one now you can as well use the quadratic formula to find the value of alpha and beta and realize that you are going to arrive at the same values if we have imaginary roots then the complementary function which is the general solution to the homogeneous differential equation is given by e to the power alpha x times c1 cos beta x plus c2 sine beta x so we are going to have e to the power we have alpha to be zero so zero times x which is equal to zero now e to the power zero is equal to one so we have one times c1 cos beta is one so one times x is x plus c2 sine one times x is also x so we have yc to be equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sine x now let's try to find the particular integral so for the particular integral we have g of x we have g of x to be equal to 2x cubed now 2x cubed is a polynomial of degree 3 so we are going to deploy yp equals the general formula of a polynomial with degree 3 is given by ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d so this is yp so let's try to find yp prime so yp yp prime is equal to we differentiate ax cubed with respect to x and then we have 3 ax square plus this becomes 2bx plus c and then d is a constant so it goes to zero again we differentiate y p prime so that we have y p prime prime that will be equal to so this we have 6 ax plus 2b and then this goes to zero now from the differential equation given let's try to plug in the values or the expressions for y prime y prime prime and then y so we are going to have we have y prime prime so that is 6ax plus 2b and then plus y which is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and that's equal to g of x which is 2x cube now let's try to group like things so we have ax cube plus bx cube sorry bx square plus bx square plus now coefficient of x we have 6a and then c so 6a plus c and then plus constants we have 2b and then we have d so plus 2b plus d equals 2x cube now at this point we are going to compare coefficients of each of the terms now 
coefficient of x cube we have a so let's say for x cube we have a and that is equal to on the right hand side 2 therefore we have a to be equal to 2 now coefficient of x square we have coefficient of x on the left hand side to be b coefficient of x square on the right hand side is equal to 0 so we have b to be equal to 0 also for x coefficients on the left hand side of x so notice that here we have an x here we have an x here so 6a plus c this is the coefficient of x so for x you have 6a plus c equals on the right hand side you have 0 now notice that you have a to be 2 so this becomes 6 times 2 plus c equals 0 this is 12 equals negative c so you divide through by negative 1 negative 1 and then you have c to be equal to negative 12 you have c to be equal to negative 12 and then for the constant so for constant for constant we have 2b plus d equals on the right hand side 0 so we have b to be 0 so 2 times 0 plus d equals 0 d is equal to this is 0 0 minus 0 is still 0 therefore you have a to be 2 b to be 0 d to be 0 and then c to be negative 12 therefore we have the particular integral to be equal to to be equal to that is a x cube so a is 2 so 2x cube plus b is 0 so it goes away plus c is negative 12 so minus 12 x and then d is also 0 so that also goes away so this is the particular integral therefore given that the general solution is equal to or is given by y equals y equals yc plus yp then we have yc to be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and then yp plus 2x cube minus 12x so this is the general solution to the given differential equation so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye